had carried a story narrating how a person had lost his car thanks to a trusted packer and mover company. Now the company has come forward to reimburse the money. It is definitely a News 9 impact. This man, I mean, was a depressed soul just a few days back. He had bought a car with all his hard-earned money and lost it in the hands of a trusted logistic company. Yes, Blue Star Packers and Movers came to Amin's service when he wanted to shift his car in a container from Bengaluru to Pali. And what happened next was nothing less than a nightmare. The car that left in a perfect condition reached his doorstep in a completely damaged state. And when Amin refused to accept the car in its damaged state, the logistics company took back the car and never returned it. After which, the representatives of Blue Star went absconding. Amin filed a police complaint at the Yashwantpur police station and with the help of two inspectors, Krishna and Venkatesh, the accused Vijay Singh was nabbed. Soon after your channel shed light on the story, in yet another news sign impact, the accused Vijay Singh agreed to cough up 4.5 lakh rupees as reimbursement to the damaged car. So the issue of a missing car which was missing for almost uh, four months uh, which was reported to police and then it was also reported to TV9. So TV9 uh, took the initiative and you know uh, posted it in the news. So after seeing the news you know a lot of people uh, you know tried calling him and then uh, you know this uh, he came for the compromise basically. Uh, and then it was a good move by TV9 and they were very uh, effective and you know even the police uh, supported very well. So now uh, this uh, person from Blue Star Packers and Movers, he has come here and uh, you know he's come for a compromise that sir, okay we will uh, give you money for that missing car since uh, you know the car actually now they tell you know it has met with the accident. So now he's saying sir okay don't take the car but we will give you the money so I think he's giving a compensation. Going by a couple of cases that have been reported in the recent past, it is indeed shocking to know that a whole big racket is functioning in the name of credible logistics companies. They damage belongings and even sometimes lose them. So make sure the next time you hire one, you check their credentials. Nabila for News 9, Bengaluru. Well, BWSSB blames residents for its inept handling of water supply to the city. But we have honoured the board's incompetence, which has put the board's officials in an embarrassing situation. Take a look. This is a common scene on the streets of Bengaluru. Women wait for water for hours with pots in front of BWSSB taps. Often they return home with empty pots. BWSSB blames residents for having unauthorised connections. Little do they know about the seepage in their own pump houses. This pump house in Banaswadi is in a decaying state. Pipes connected to the tank are broken and look at the amount of water being wasted. The wasted water accumulates under the tank. The constant presence of water has resulted in moss growing in the pump house. Thanks to the wastage, residents of Pillana Garden, OMBR Layout, Richardstown, Coxtown, Cooktown and Nagwara end up not getting their share of water. Plus, if you leak, you can not repair it. You can't repair it. You can't repair it. No, sir. You can't repair it. 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 So, you can't repair it. 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 BWSSBP had constructed this pump house way back in 1962. The pipes have also been replaced since then. The department is believed to have flowed to the tenders for repairing and replacing the pipes, but works are yet to get underway. Kaveri kade in the Baranta near the pumps nulli, Ali, Jainagaramate, Dakshina Bag, the Lenaro, repair Agbutra, Alin the Illig Borough Stati Murdi Sagata. So Adan the Dodutundre. BWSSB, which has the habit of blaming residents for its incompetence, need to wake up and pay attention to issues that are hindering water supply to several areas in the city. Anand Budli, News 9, Bengaluru. Well, India has many states and some of these states are always in a tug of war with each other with respect to sharing of river water. You have heard of the Kaveri water dispute and now add the Krishna river water dispute to this. 
Way back in 2010, the Krishna River Water Tribunal had issued a verdict regarding the sharing of Krishna River. Last year, a clarification was sought over the interim verdict. The tribunal, in fact, had issued a clarification about the same. But now there seems to be more confusion. Reason? Well, no prizes for guessing it. It is because of Telangana, the new state. Telangana now wants its share of the river water. So it wants the tribunal to conduct fresh proceedings. In this regard, the tribunal under the presidency of Justice Brijesh Kumar held a conference in which representatives from Karnataka, Maharashtra participated. Karnataka was represented by its lawyer, Fali Nariman, and Maharashtra by its lawyer, Arjun. Both the lawyers were of the opinion that the river water has to be shared between the riparian states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. But the president of the tribunal insisted that the representatives of all the states be present who have a claim to the water. Again, Maharashtra's council informed him the verdict of the tribunal has not been notified yet, and if this did not happen, all the proceedings conducted in the last five years would go a waste. He also said that Maharashtra would appeal to Supreme Court if this did not happen. By the way, Karnataka Council sought the tribunal to seek the opinion of the center before any conclusion should be reached. Nalaku Rajagalge on the notice issue, Madi, Yvatu Yalardu on the Salay Suchnegalano or Yekindre Yoga Hosa on the Yambatumbatu, the Organization Act of Andhra Pradesh Hosdak Bandide, Adidna Hege Tawadana Hege Governance Theory, Tamadabaga, Abiprayeno, Tama legal response any than Taheli. अधिक आर वारा समय कोटी जा रहे आर आर वारा समय आद में ले बेरे स्टेट गड़ याव रेस्पॉन्स ही दे अधिक कोशिश करा मत्ते उन नालक भी मूर वारा समय मत्ते कोटी जा रहे अदन आ मुंदे अदर बगे रिजोइंडर कोड द कागी मत्ते यारड़ वारा समय कोटी जा रहे ये वाग मुंदे ट्राइब्यूनल मत्ते कुत कोण्डो ये वाग हदन the Krishna Tribunal ordered the release of 907 TMC of water to Karnataka, 1005 TMC of water to undivided Andhra Pradesh. Chandra Mohan for News 9, New Delhi. And well, it was an eventful day for India at the Commonwealth Games yesterday as we entered the day at fourth place in the medals table. India now stands at fourth position in the medal table with two gold, three silver and two bronze. Indian weightlifters took in, they got another gold glory for the nation and helped India solidify its position in the Commonwealth Games 2014 medal tally. The gold fest for India started with a glorious victory of Manipuri girls Sanjita Kumukcham and Mirabai Channu Saikom, winning the gold and silver medals respectively in the women's 48 kg weightlifting competitions at the Clyde Auditorium. Well, definitely a proud moment for uh, India there. It started off uh, uh, thanks to Sanjita Kumukcham as well as Channu Saikom, both of whom uh, went ahead and uh, ensured that they bagged the gold and silver in the women's weightlifting 45 kg competition. Besides that, Sukhande also managed uh, to go ahead and make India proud by bagging the gold in the men's style of the same. But India ran away with opening day honours uh, and this was uh, in the weightlifting competition with both Sukhande and Sanjita Chandu winning the gold medal in their respective events. In fact, the Indian team bagged four out of six medals on offer on day one of the competition. Well, Sanjita and Saiko Mirabai Chano opened India's campaign on a flying note by winning a gold and silver respectively in the women's 48 kg before Sukhende and Ganesh Mali bagged the first and third position in the men's 56 kg to cap a remarkable day for the Indians. Well, uh, Sukhende lifted a total of 248 kgs after trailing at the halfway snatch stage but came back strongly in a clean jerk to win the gold. And 21-year-old uh, Mali, who won the bronze medal, uh, slipped behind after, in fact, leading. And uh, Malaysia's uh, uh, Mohamed Bisol Zulhemi was at fourth. 
In fact, uh, no doubt this is a great beginning for uh, uh, the Indian contingent in the Commonwealth Games. The hope is, of course, that it will continue in boxing, wrestling as well as shooting. These are India's trends and considering that uh, the Indian contingent is the second largest uh, contingent ever with the highest number of participants in athletics, uh, we have to keep in mind the 215 athletes are currently at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. A lot is being expected from the Indian side.